and welcome to this free and easy tutorial for the piano version of The Moment I Knew by Taylor Swift. The sheet music for this arrangement can be purchased exclusively on musicnotes.com along with all other piano version arrangements. Check out the piano version Patreon page for discounts. The play along version is intermediate difficulty but in this tutorial I give you some easy workarounds and different options to suit an easier skill level. The Moment I Knew is in the key of G major, that means it's got one sharp and F sharp. G major. So we'll start with the intro. So I'll start with the right hand first. The left hand is going to play the cello line from the song. So in the right hand we're going to start with a C sus2. That means we play the second instead of the third. Um, so our thumb is going to be on middle C, index finger on D, and little finger on G. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to keep our index finger and little finger on the same. And our thumb's going to move to a B, and we're going to make a G major chord. One, two, three, four. So we move to our fourth finger on the G, so that on the fourth beat, we can play the A. So we play the chord twice. And you can move to that fourth finger at the beginning of the bar if you want. And your pedal is going to stay down for the full duration of the bar. So C, sus, two. G, and then that A on the fourth beat to a D major chord. So index finger is going to stay on D still, but our thumb is now on A below that, and our fourth finger is going to play F sharp. We go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we play the chord four times, and then with our little finger, we play the G on its own on the fourth beat of the bar. So then we repeat. Pretty much the same phrase. So we're going to play the C sus2, then the G, with that movement on the fourth bar, then down to the D major. We'll play two D major chords, and then we're going to play a D sus. So instead of the F sharp, we're going to play G with our little finger. So it's A, D, and G. And we hold that chord. So it's one, and two, and one. So the right hand goes one, and two, and G, D. One and two and one and two, one and two and one, two, hold and. So the left hand is going to play this cello line. Here's middle C, there's an octave below middle C, and we're going to start on the E below that. We're going to use our fourth finger on the E. So we're going to go one, then F sharp, two, then G, one, then B, two, then F sharp, and hold that for two bars. So it goes with the chords, one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, and that repeats now, B, F sharp, G, B, F sharp. I've written this in uh, cut time or 2-2, two, two. so it looks like 4-4 four, four time, but essentially we're thinking 1-2 and 1-2 and 2 and, but it also can can be translated as 1-2-3-4, one, 1-2-3-4. Two, one, two, All right, so starting on C sus2 with E in the bass, we go 1 and 2 and 1. should have been there and that takes us into the verse now we're pretty much playing the same chord sequence and we're simplifying out the right hand and the left hand a little bit more so we're going to start with the same chord in the right hand and we're just going to play a single c with our index finger in the left hand an octave below c so we hold that left hand down for both chords one and two and then we're going to play the same voicing of a G major, B, D, and G. This time you can use your little finger because we're not doing any movement. While the left hand's going to go down with our little finger on the G. So it's one and two and one and two and. Then up to the D, we're just going to play with our thumb now with our uh, left hand. And the right hand's going to play A, D, and F sharp as we do in the intro. We're going to do two of them 
And then as we do at the end of the intro, we're going to play G instead of F sharp. We're going to play two of them. The left hand just holds through. One, two, one, two. Chord sequence stays the same, but now we're going to take out the sus2. We're not going to play a D. Left hand's going to be exactly the same for the next four bars. S middle C, E and G, making a straight C major chord. We're going to go one and two and. We're going to play the C major chord on beat two, and then we're going to play D, E and G. So we're just going to move to a D instead of a C. One and two and. Then we go to the G major, exactly the same, one and two. And then the D, exactly the same. One and two. And now we're not, not going to go to the sus. This is on, um, and I would have been so happy. So we hold for, and I would have been so happy on the D major chord. So it goes one, the just a line. And I would have been so happy. On happy, we go back to how we started the verse. So C sus two to the G, left hand holding. And then here's where it changes. We're going to jump down. So we're going to go down to the D in our left hand. So if you want, you can reshape your left hand to start thumb on the C, then index finger on the G, then little finger on the D, if that's, um, if that's easier. Right hand's playing C sus 2, G, and then going down to F sharp on the thumb, index finger A, little finger D, and we go one, two, and then on the next bar, we're going to play, we're going to go to a sus, but it's a different voicing. So now our thumb moves from F sharp to G, index finger and little finger staying the same. And our left hand is going to add the thumb. So it goes one, two, one. Christmas lights. If that octave movement is too much, you can go one, two, one. So you don't have to hold that little finger down because you're going to have to lift up the pedal when we go to the sus. So you can just release that little finger. We then do the second half of the first verse. It's like a double verse, this first verse. Chord sequence stays the same, but now we're playing the straight C major chord. So middle C, E and G. One, two, one, two. This is once we got to Christmas lights glisten. I got my eye on the door just. So G major the same. Where it changes now is in the left hand, we're going to play octave C's, the two C's below middle C, one, two, and. So our thumb is going one and two and, while the little finger holds through, one and two and. If the octave stretches too much, just play the high one, one and two and one. When we go to the G, we're just going to play single, single G, we're not going to play the octave. So octave C's, single G, same rhythm though, one and two and then we go to the D we're going to do the lower voicing D that we've just done so F sharp A and D two of them then to the G, D sus where we go from the F sharp to the G one and two so two of them so two D's to D susses that goes on a waiting for you to walk in but the time is ticking um, the left hand is going to play octave D's one two and one and two and so it's the exact same figure that we played with the octave c's thumb goes one and two and one and two and while well, the little finger holds down for the bar easier version is just to do the high one so generally for the verses for this first verse we're going to take out the lower octave if we want to make it easier so we're on is ticking. We're going to play exactly the same as we've just played for the C major. Octave C's in the left hand, single G. Octave D's, lower voicing right hand. Now this is slightly different because when we went to the D sus for two, we're going to do the D sus for one, but we're going to do the D for three. One, two, and three. And then one D sus. One, two, and one, two, and the left hand's going to stay exactly the same. That's gone. That takes us up to how you said you'd be here. Chord sequence stays the same. Left hand stays the same, but right hand is going to be a voicing down. So thumb on G, middle finger, middle C, little finger E. One, two. Now keep your thumb on the G, 
but now move your middle finger and little finger to B and D. So we're still going to a G major chord. One and two and one, two. And now the familiar lower voicing of the D to D sus. So it's two Ds, one, two, one, two. You said you'd. And then we're going to repeat that for the second B here. Lower voicing right hand, left hand the same. B here. And when we get to the D, we're just going to hold it for two bars. B here, two. And it was like slow. And that takes us to the chorus. So let's play through the verse. Starting with that C sus two. So the first half of the verse, verse we're doing C susses. And then we go to a straight C major chord. End of the intro. One, two, and one. You should have been there. Should have burst through the door with that baby I'm right here smile. And it would have felt like a million little shining stars that just align. And I would have been so happy. Low voicing now. One, two octaves if you want. Christmas lights glisten I got my eye on the door Just waiting for you to walk in But the time is ticking People ask me how I've been As I come back through my memories How you said you'd be here You said you'd So we're into the chorus now. The vocal goes, and it was like slow motion, standing there. So we are now carrying on with the same chord sequence, but we're doing lower voicings again. So now middle C is at the top of our voicing in the right hand. So little finger C, index finger G, thumb E. And we're gonna play octaves in the left hand. Now, rhythmically in the left hand, what we did in that last, the second half of the verse was one and two and one and two and with the top note. Now we're going to play that with the full octave. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. So C, down to G, up to D. If the octave is too much of a stretch for you, now for the chorus I would play the low note of the two. One, two and one. So, the right hand is now going to play one and two and. When we go to the G, we're now below middle C. Thumb on D, middle finger G, little finger B. One, two. Now we're going to go up to our previous low voicing of the D. So thumb F sharp, index finger A, little finger D. And we play four of them. Red lipstick. We're going to repeat that. G, then to the D. Exact same voicings, and they're all laughing. We repeat it again. As I'm looking around the room. C. So when we get to missing, but, but there was one thing missing. You can keep it the same if you want to go for the easy version, or you can add a little G C. One, two, and a uh, G C. Missing. When we get to that D there, we're going to just hold it. So we go C and their G and hold. And that goes, that was the moment I knew. And then we play a little interlude of the intro. You could play it exactly the same if you want to keep it simple. Uh, otherwise, you can play it. Uh, the left hand now goes E, F sharp. G, A, B, F sharp. So you would probably want to start with your little finger. E, F sharp, G, A, B, F sharp. And then the second time, E, F sharp, G, B, F sharp. Exactly the same as the intro. Now the right hand's going to start the same. Now the top note, remember the top note went moved on its own. Now we're going to play the B and the D for underneath the A as well. It goes one, two, one, two, and, and then 
we're going to do the same thing here that when the little finger adds to the G we're going to play the bottom two notes one two one two and and then same rule here and then we end this little interlude the exact same way that we ended the intro so D major chord and then the D sus and the hours pass by so let's play through the chorus starting at the end of the uh, verse now the chorus is much louder so you can really dig into the chorus so end of the verse here two and it was like slow motion standing here in my party dress in red lipstick with no one to impress and they're all laughing as I'm looking around the room but there was one thing missing and that was the moment I knew intro softer with that extra movement and the chord now left hand the same ending the same and the hours pass by I just want to be alone we're into the second verse now the second verse is half the length of the first verse so we are going to go straight to the straight C major voicing rather than the C sus2 so thumb on middle C middle finger E little finger G octaves in the left hand if you're not playing octaves then play the higher one for the second verse so we're going to go one two and uh so and uh so that's c and g one two and uh the left hand is just going to play the octaves for the full bar then we go to the g we're going to play octave g's in the left hand we're going to play b d and g in the right hand one two and now so we're adding a g on the last beat of the bar one two and now there's two ways you can play this you could play it thumb on the B both times then move the whole hand and play the G because we're going to a D major where the thumb is F sharp middle finger A little finger D so that would be a, a full movement or you could play the B D and G with your index finger middle finger and little finger so your thumb is free one two and and then do the movement choose whichever one is feels more comfortable for you so C and a G D so we're going to play F sharp A and D one two then we're going to play the D sus so we're used to these voicings from the first verse we're going to play G A and D and we go one two and three and one two and three and so we can play the chord one and a two and and that's an F sharp with the thumb one and a two and now the left hand is going to play octaves the little finger is going to hold all the way through while the thumb is going to go one two and one and a two and an. yeah one two and one so the thumb basically does a leading note before the chords one and a two we add one and a two we add so the whole from the d major chord goes one two and one and a two we add if you don't want to play the octaves, just play the high one. And if you don't want to play that rhythmic thing, you can just play straight chords. One, two, one, two. Speaking of straight chords, now we're going to have no movement on the C. Same voicing that we started with, C, E and G, but we're just going to play one, two, and. And the left hand is now playing the exact same thing we played in the second half of the first verse. So thumb with rhythmic movement, little finger with uh, sustains. One, two, and G. We're now going to play the octave Gs. We didn't play octaves in the first verse. One, two, and. And then G to the D. We're going to play exactly the same. One, two, and one, and a two, we but this time we're not going to move to an F sharp at the end we're just going to play the chord again one, two and sus then we're going to play a repeat of the first bar one, two and uh 
and then a repeat of the second bar. One, two, and. So the same movement, and the left hand is just going to play uh, octave holes. One, two, and a one, two, and. And D, this is, this is exactly the same as bars three and four. One, two, and three, and a four, E, and. We're up to, he said he'd be. So we're going to play now the lower voicing C. So left hand's going to play the same, just octaves for the full bar. We're going to play G, middle C and E. One, two, and. Restrike the G with our thumb. One, two, and. Then G. So it's G, B and D. One, two, and. Restriking that G again with our thumb. One, B, here. We go to the D. It's usual voicing, F sharp, A and D. We're going to go one, two, just the F sharp, while the left hand in octaves is going to play, thumb is going to play one and two and, all on that D, one and two and, while the little finger is going to hold one and two and, and then on it was like, thumb in the left hand plays one E and a, uh, F sharp A D, one E and a, uh, and then two play the chord and the octaves one e and a two and then the f sharp in our thumb one e and a two and so those two bars nice and slow go and uh, one and two and one e and a two and if the octave is too much for stretch just play the high note one and two and one e and a two If all of that movement is too much, you can just play the chords. One, two, and one, two. And that's underneath, and it was like slow motion. So when we get to the second chorus, we're gonna play it exactly the same as the first chorus with one tiny thing. When we get to the end, and that was the moment I knew, we're not gonna pause, because we're carrying on into the middle eight. So we're just carrying that D chord, and one, two, and what do you say? So let's play through the second verse and we'll also play through the second chorus as we go. End of the interlude. One, two, one. And the hours pass by. Now I just want to be alone, but your close friends always seem to know when there's something really wrong. So they follow me down the hall. And there in the bathroom, I try not starts as I say hopelessly he said he be here one and two and it was like slow motion standing there in my party dress in red lipstick with no one to impress and they're all laughing and asking me about you, but there was one thing missing. Now keep the chords going. And that was the moment I knew. What do you say? And we're into the middle eight. So the middle eight, we're going to keep on going for four bars, exactly the same as the chorus. When tears are streamed down your face in front of everyone you knew. And then it goes soft. So we're going to go to a higher voicing. This one, what do you do when the one who means that much to you? Middle C, E and G, one, two, then to the G major, we're going to play B, D and G, one, two, and then we're going to play the higher voicing of D, that's A, D and F sharp, four of them, one, two, three, four. We're going to play single C below middle C with the left hand, one, two, then G below that, then up to the D and hold it through. So the first four bars are the same as the chorus. Then we go soft. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to play the intro. But we're going to play it the same as the interlude last time. So the chords continue through. Now you'll notice that we don't go to the D sus at the end. One, two. And I would have been so happy. So we get to I would have been so happy. And we're going to play 
it's similar to what we play at the beginning of the song in the first verse. We play middle C, D and G, so it becomes a C sus2 again. One, two, and a uh, C and G. One, two, and a uh, single C in the left hand. Then down to the G, single G in the left hand, B, D and G, so that's that higher voicing. One, two, then we go to the D. I'm going to play octaves and we're going to play the same rhythm that we often play in the octaves. One, two, and where the thumb moves, the little finger stays the same. Right hand's going to play A, D, and F sharp, then again, then the A. One, two, and. Now the left hand is going to play, the thumb is going to play four. One, and, two, and. While the little fingers will play one, and, two, and. So together it goes one, and, two, and. Right hand is going to play the D sus, A, D, and G. We're going to go one E and a two E and. So together it goes one E and two and. One E and a two and. One E and a two and. Few things you can do here. So if the octave is too much, you can just play the low D four times. If the rhythm is too much, just straighten it out. So we go from the D. This is under and it and it was like slow. That's the full version. So let's play through the middle eight, taking us up to the final chords. So we've gone, and that was the moment I knew. And what do you say when tears are stripped down your face in front of everyone you know? to D sus you should have been here and I would have been so happy and it takes us into the final chorus I'm going to start exactly the same as the other choruses so lower voicing movement in octaves and then we repeat that lipstick with no one to impress so if you want uh, you can keep it the same but we'll put an extra movement one and a two and so we'll put that da 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 in the right hand on the F sharp D, A and D one two and the left hand can play one, two. So it goes one, two, and one, and a two, and. That goes on, and they're all standing around me singing. So just before that, with no one to impress, and they're all standing around. Then we go back to the usual. Happy birthday, you. But there was one thing. I'm just repeating again, G. And that was the moment I knew. I knew. We're going to go to the sus, so from the F sharp A and D, we're going to go to G A and D. And then it goes to this. Uh, oh, oh, I knew. So we're going to start the same C, this is continuing, then D, and then to D sus. Exactly the same, then C, G, D, and then hold the D sus. And that's up to, you called me later. And that takes, this is kind of the outro. So we're going to go back to our verse one voicing. Middle C, D and G, C sus, two, single note C. So the right hand is actually playing what we play in the instrumental interludes. While the left hand is no longer playing the cello line, we're just going to play single C, single G, single D, two, three, and then again, single C, single G, and then hold one, two, three, four, five, six. So we do seven D majors, and on the seventh one, we do a little roll. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So let's play through the final chorus and outros. So out of happy. And it was like slow motion. I hope that's helped you learn the song. Do check out the Play Along video with sheet music to practice in real time. Do subscribe to Piano Version so you can see all previous Piano Version arrangements and check out all new releases as they come out.